Hello guys, so today is a bit of a different one. A bit out of my comfort zone actually, but we'll see how we get on. So today I'm actually flying to Paris. Why? No reason, it's just let's just see what happens, eh? Hey, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Bonjour from Paris. Let's go. Ta bagage seront ouvertes par le chauffeur une fois que tous les passagers seront descendus. Nous vous souhaitons un agréable voyage à bord de notre navette. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on our shuttle. So I've just got off the coach there. Not a clue where I am. <laughs> anyway, let's go. The one and only Baudi Hotel. <laughs> right, number five. Jesus. Come on, let's go. Bonjour. Here we go for the hotel tour. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So we have a safe. Bathroom. No bad wee shower. Oh, so here we go for the bed test. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> now, to be fair, the bed's actually quite comfortable. Not bad. Let me let me check the pillows. Mm. Mm, not bad, not bad. Anyway, let's check this complimentary croissant. Got a bit of hair on it. Mm. Anyway. Fresh. So all in all, decent enough hotel, decent price. Oh, we're gonna get this our night. Better not hear that, are they? I'll not be putting up with that. Anyway, let's go and explore. Got a view of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah. So right now, I'm going to exchange some money at a place that's got good reviews. So here we go. Hopefully, I don't look like a tourist walking about here. I might get scammed. <laughs>
So to be honest, I am absolutely starving. I need to get some food. Well, every single... Every single restaurant here is all in French, so... I might starve. Hopefully not. Check the light show. I like it, I like it. So the maps has got me walking through some dodgy park at night. Cheers Google Maps. in the background there hello guys so today we're on day two of the Paris adventure first stop the aquarium let's go I'm getting quite used to this uh, getting food in France now. So I've got a coffee and a Nutella crepe. Let's see how it tastes. Eh? Here's a taste test. It's quite dry actually. It's okay because you buy the water and the Eiffel Tower. Good picture there. Let's continue. See you at their aquarium. Nice coffee next to the Eiffel Tower. Yahoo! This is what life's all about, guys. Getting out there and exploring. It's quite a mad place, this Paris. There's a lot going on here. Eh? This is only a weekday as well. What is that? Wednesday. Wednesday and there's a hell of a lot going on. Anyway, good. It's good that the hustle and bustle's back, you know? So I'll tell a lie. The crepe, the first bite was dry as hell. But after that, you got all the Nutella goodness. Mm. This coffee's going down a treat as well. I kind of like it here. That's it. I'm just going to stay here. Anna, bye bye. <laughs> Come and visit. <laughs> Check out this bonsai tree. It's not really a bonsai tree, but it looks like it. So I've just seen the only man in history to put me to shame. Look at a piece on that guy. I'm on about calves. I'm on about calves. These calves, look. See these calves? Huge. Right, right. Anyway, back to it.
she trying to find a bin in Paris? It's like trying to find my wallet on a night out. Non-existent. Anyway. Stingrays. There's me if it was a fish. Check the beak on that. I was mistaken, there's me as a fish. Some type of shark just sleeping. What kind of fish is that? Oh, it's any of them French spongiers. In Scotland, we call it a sponge. Yeah. Mr. Krabs, is that you? Aye, aye, Captain. Malheureusement, les requins sont en train de s'arrêter. Chaque année, 250 millions de requins sont pêchés dans le monde. So my review on the aquarium, to be honest, is just box standard. Nothing really too interesting, but if you like fish, then it's your kind of place, you know? Next stop, the Louvre Museum. Come on, let's go. Could you just imagine living on one of these boats, waking up to that view every day? This boat's even got a patio deck. Oh, you know, cup of coffee there every morning. Bless. Les Chansonnières. To be honest, it doesn't even feel real that I'm in Paris. Because a couple of days ago I was in Dundee working. And now I'm in Paris. It's crazy what you can get up to if you just go for it. Eh? Sometimes it's all about getting out of your comfort zone and just going for it. Monday morning I thought to myself, I want to go somewhere. I don't care where, but I want to go. Get on a plane and just go. And now I'm in France two days later, so if you've got the ways and means, just go for it.
So I was just stopped at the security desk here because I thought I had a knife, but it's just my paint tin opener. <laughs> So what can I say about the Louvre Museum? It's just too big to be honest. I wanted to be there for two hours, I'm absolutely shattered now. And that was only one part of it. <laughs> anyway. Dirty animal. Pissing outside, in front of everybody. I also want to give a massive shout out to a stupid tourist. He's been helping me out a lot on this trip, so cheers buddy. I'm going to leave his link in the description. Go and check out his videos. Guy's crazy. Anyway, cheers mate. So, from Pahri, peace. <laughs>